What's up everybody, Isaac here. How are you doing tonight? And we are doing another Let's Play video of Paranoia. Happiness is mandatory. So I hope everyone is doing well. So, as I recall, we finished doing the whole D&D &D thing, and we ended up killing the wizard instead of joining the secret society. Hmm. <laughs> So we are now going to go to bed and prepare for the next day's cycle. So how's everybody doing? Welcome to Isaac and Friends. My name is Isaac, your host for the day, and I hope you're enjoying our video. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment, of course. If you happen to like the video anyway, just go ahead and like and comment. That is always helpful. Definitely considering we're small enough, so it helps a lot to have you guys be able to sit there and comment and all that mess. It's because it helps the YouTube algorithm decide that people actually want to see our videos, so... Hey, if you like the video, please feel free to share all that good stuff. Ooh, what is our new mission? Hmm. Okay. And if I can remember correctly about this game, you don't want to ask too many questions. Yay! <laughs> I love it. I guess we should bring the loyalty officer with us. <laughs> of course. Friend computer, we would never do anything that would anger the friend computer. I just know I'm going to like kill, get my character killed at some point. <laughs> you mean testing with me, right? Hmm. <laughs> We want to run a blind test taste of experimental flavor 72 on citizens. Uh, um.
It's a code name. Is this a code name for a weapon that might backfire on me? Backfiring might be be a feature. If anything should backfire, you will know. Noted in your report to me. Oh. Uh, uh, what? First, when you're out testing, don't blind any citizens. I don't need a repeat of last time or the time before that. Come to think of it. Don't blind anyone. Got it. All right. That must be the incinerator for offing ourselves, our uh, self-termination, as it is nicely uh, implied. So we should be able to pick up our stuff from here. Nice. So yeah, we actually got this game for free from a uh, from a PR from Home Run PR. We only ever did the one or two videos, unfortunately, due to a couple of factors. But we are back, so I'm going to try and finish this game up. Friend is always watching. Yes, I have noticed Friend Computer is always watching. Right now, I'm also kind of trying to distract myself because, unfortunately, I just learned that me grandmother has literally died. Uh, well, I found out about her dying last night, and nobody in our family could bother to fucking tell us one bit. So... Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Hmm. I'm Bruce B's Jay Z one insect department of side homicide, genocide, technocide. We do it all except Pesticide, of course. Technocide? You're not cleared to know anything about that. Just don't tamper with your cortex, citizen. What am I cleared to know? Three citizens have been killed in this sector under mysterious circumstances. And eternal security has sealed off all three crime scenes and detained any pertinent witnesses. Your job is to question the witnesses, determine if these deaths are the result of treasonous sabotage, and report your findings back to me. 
Have you checked the security feeds on the cameras? My current clone came equipped with working with a working ring, so I actually thought that might be a good idea to check the cameras. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> there are clones without working brains? It's almost like I'm a veteran t internal security officer, and you're a bunch of amateurs best deployed as baits for treasonous and for traitorous <laughs> assassins. Um, okay, well, since I asked, did you find anything useful? No, the, cam the cameras for the entire sector were down due to scheduled maintenance for the network. Only high-level security or maintenance staff would have known about that. Scheduled downtime. Which means the maintenance is, that maintenance is, are clearly involved. Okay, I'll go and dare question the witnesses about the crime scene then. A brilliant plan. Almost as brilliant as it, as it was when I first told you to do it. On a side note, troubleshooters, the crime scenes are all under the strict controls of my federal insect agents. I doubt they will let you disturb crime scenes, but you're welcome to grovel at their feet. <laughs> We're all red shirts here. Hmm. I was told you'd be coming this way. Cecil B, Insect Crowd Control Specialist. What do you want? We're to investigate the incident. We need to speak with, with any witnesses you have about what happened here, besides the office, obvious unsanctioned termination. I don't think so. This is my crime scene. I've secured to detain this witness, and the corpse over there, I've detained too. I won't have you or anyone else contaminating the evidence. But we really do need to take a look around. And I really need some algae chips. But we can't all have everything we want in the life cycle, can we? Or the next one, for that matter, troubleshooters. So we have a few options here. We can go algae chips, you say. Requires crunchy algae chips, which we have, apparently. Bureaucracy. Do you have a permit for the uh, for these suspects in that body? If you stop me, you'll be obstructing the order as a friend computer. I'm going to go with the... Mm, would you would you like to speak to the mm, the witnesses? What a coincidence! I would mm, go right ahead. If you're innocent, then you have nothing. You don't have anything to worry about, citizen. Praise friend computer, a troubleshooter has arrived to get me out of this sna unfortunate snafu. You are here to help me out, aren't you? Phew, what a, that's a relief. For a moment back there, I thought I was a prime suspect in a grisly murder. You are. What? But you said if I was innocent, I had nothing to fear. So since I'm absolutely certain I am not responsible for this heinous crime, can I just leave? Not until you answer the inordinate number of questions I have in here, here in front of me, citizen. Fine, but for the record, I'm now, I'm now worried a lot. Where were you when the incident occurred? I was leaving the room when it happened. I heard a crunk patunk, and then I was turned around, and the citizen was dead. So you didn't see the killer, and you were alone with the victim. I have more questions. <clears throat> what exactly were you doing here? I was in, it was my break cycle. 
I always come here on my break table cycle. It's my favorite cafeteria. What's so special about it? It's the closest one to my workstation. I have other questions I want to ask. Bureaucracy. I'm authorized to search you, so spread them. Okay, but go easy on me. It's my first time. Really? What do we have here, troubleshooters? What? What is it? What did you find? Contraband! A Baikouyan stick. I have no idea what a Baikouyan stick is. Take it. I don't care. Where did you get this? I found it on the ground. It was going to be a good citizen and put it in the bin, but then the insect officer told me to freeze. I have a hard time believing you, citizen. But it's the truth. I would never walk around with contraband. Tell me where you found it, citizen, or I will have you sent to room 101. I got it in the offices next to the cinema. What's room 101? That's classified. Hmm. Cause of death is, was clearly a traitor's scheme to destroy Alpha Complex. I don't know the specifics. I'm a big picture kind of guy. You figure out the fiddly little details. I must remain vigilant. Hmm. Better not to get too close. I'm not cleared to stand in that zone. That's odd. No fingerprints on that can. Did it fall out of the vending machine, or did someone launch it at the victim? Examine the body. Blunt trauma to the back of the head. The can on the ground is likely cause. Better not get too close. I'm not cleared for that. Hmm. It's almost as if it was thrown. Hmm. Nothing we really need right now. So we're not cleared to stand in the orange zone. <laughs> I'm not a citizen, I'm special. At least that's what a friend computer tells me. I'm a troubleshooter. I was ordered to interrogate the witness and examine the crime scene. I was ordered to say this was restricted area. Move along, citizen. Happiness officer, this citizen needs your help. This sect agent has been working for too long, informing people that this is a restricted area and that they must move along. His happiness levels appears to be dangerously low. I'm perfectly happy. I don't need any more pill. You're definitely down. Nobody needs happiness pills. You should want them. Here, take a handful. Isn't that more than the prescribed amount? 
Why do people keep saying that? You can never have enough happiness. Are you going to take your pills, or do we need to report this? I noticed your clone number is six. It would be a shame if they, if you were to overdose. I know this a bit. This is the part in the episode where the troubleshooter team leader questions the witnesses, but the witnesses are really annoying and uncooperative. So the troubleshooter shoots them. Pew pew! Tino Melly, what a show! Did you happen to see what happened to the victim? I was watching Tello O'Malley. O'Malley. I love Tello O'Malley. By the way, you get to watch and tr troubleshoot shooters doing missions. Getting shot, getting blown up, getting shot, and getting blown up? It's a cavalcade of heroic sacrifice. They let me watch the show while they scrubbed my brain, which I thought was nice of them. Scrub, scrub, pew, pew. So, you were watching Tila O'Malley. When the victim was killed. This is such a boring episode. Nothing's exploded in seconds. Let's try another special. The episode that I'm watching, it's really immersive. Usually it's just a screen or you're... But you're sort of lumpy and rounded, like you're really here. I love Tilo O'Malley. Actually, this episode is called The Helpful Witness. Ooh, ooh. I've seen this one just before the victim got killed by the door. He got really annoyed with the vending machine over there. He wasn't happy with it at all. He got very kicky and screamy with it, in fact. Me? I was happy all the time now, because they put a wire in my brain, gave me lots of drugs when they scrubbed my memories. <laughs> Who needs memories when you've got Tila O'Malley, right? Right? Yay, Tila O'Malley! Also, they gave me some drugs when they scrubbed my brain, and now my skull's all melty. Right. <laughs> Hey, want to see something cool? I went to a, a lab by mistake. I was clearly... I wasn't cleared for it, but they had some... These things. I'll give them to you because I love you. You're one of... The, you're on World of Troubleshooters, and I'm watching you. Thank you for your cooperation, citizen. Program, check the door. It looks like the door was tampered with. Its proximity detector was remotely hacked. This wasn't an accident. It was sabotage. Check the bunny. <laughs> the door was cut the bunny in half. It should have detected the citizen's presence and stopped moving. But it didn't. Messy. Troubleshooters, you are too late. I've already solved this mystery. Through deductive reasoning, I have precisely determined the full extent of this heinous treason that links all three crime scenes. Um, okay, what's your theory? A terrorist ceiling conspiracy. All three victims, you'll note, perished in a gravity-related manner. One squashed by a closing door, another crushed by a vending machine... A third skull broken by a mysterious projectile. I'm confident it would be discovered to be a common 
Alpha complex rutile, propelled downwards by the force of multiplied of gravity. Not quite. Why gravity, you ask? Get on and wonder. Obviously, the force of gravity is in the sector. Has been rendered unstable by some vile treasonous machine. The energies of Alpha Complex are so insidious, they even sabotage the fundamental re forces of reality. I didn't ask. Well, consider this. Have you ever looked at a... Depends. Is it considered treasonous? Do so now, and what do you see? A ceiling. Precisely half the floor palace space of Alpha Contra flexes ceiling. But if the enemy was able to precisely invert gravity, they could conquer the vast territory above our very heads. An inverted army using gravity manipulation technology or even just sticky boots could march to Alpha Con like unopposed. Ceiling superiority would be the sighting factor in any war between us and the enemy. Uh. Uh. Oh, the Alex Jones thing is too hard. No. Okay. I could give. I don't want to give the crazy guy a, a weapon, so we'll use psychology. Okay. Hmm, who are you? Leroy Five. I'm a mattress tester. I've asked their questions. What did you see? I was where? We shared an hallucination last night. Is that normal? I'm not sure if I'm qualified to explain what is normal and what normal is. So you didn't see anything related to the crime? Nothing. I was asleep. I woke up when the internal security guy dragged me out of my bunk. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, citizen. <laughs> Troubleshooter, I have information importance of importance to your mission. I know the traitor you seek. You must speak privately. Over there in the dead zone. Why alone? This seems suspicious. I don't trust the dude. <laughs> I'm not a witness. I'm a suspect. Even more so now, citizen. Back to my question. What did you see? I found the body and immediately reported it to internal security. They told me to stay where I was, and then they said I was suspicious that I sub I'd reported the body, and that I was th thought I was trying to cover up the murder. 
So you see, I am a suspect. I don't understand what's going on, but I'm innocent. Did you see anything suspicious? It wasn't a trick question. How did you find the body? Aha, uh -huh. I was walking down the corridor and passed the victim. He was still alive at this point. Banging the vending machine, saying it didn't dispense his order. There wasn't anyone else around that I could see. Did you not see how the victim died? Hmm. <clears throat> Uh huh. Hey. -hey. It's probably the worst idea I could do. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh no. It was the vending machines. The can was shot from the vending machine in the cafeteria. And the seven door proximity detector was remotely accessed. The victim last seen using a vending machine on the same network. The vending machine have hallway fell on the victim while his back was turned, so the citizen couldn't have toppled it on him himself. What do you need us to do? <laughs> All right. So we 
We found the extra addictive bubbly. <laughs> oh no, what have we done? You taste number 72. <sniffs> oh god! It's like it came from Jesus! <laughs> what? <laughs> Subject did not... Sorry, I can't talk right now. I'm dead. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh no, he died. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're about to kill one of the, one of the one of the intelligence guys. Let's never speak of this again. Agreed. Oh my god, we actually killed the security dude. Oh! No! Wait. How many people... Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Radiantly happy.
Hmm. What the hell? What did I just do? So why do I have like this epic oh music? <laughs> All right. So we're still hunting for the traitors. So,
Okay, guys. No, they had put it down. It was insanely vicious. And were, what? An invisible ability cloak that you had to put down? We'll flame rumors are treason, citizen. Follow that, citizen. Follow him in. Alrighty. Now we get to follow him around. Watch as he goes into the orange sector. Uh, very well. So that was kind of interesting. Board the tram. <laughs> we'll get you next time, traitor! Next time! Computer, good. Other things, bad. Got it. <laughs> Woohoo! So, I guess we gotta go talk to friend computer first. Then we can report about the exploding death of... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 this sounds exactly like freaking text to speech alpha busa here I'm at like level 55% treason level right now I get the feeling I'm probably going to die by computer soon enough here. Hmm. Is dying an unusual symptom? Uh-huh. <laughs> Considering we have cyanide. Yes, but cyanide's meant to kill people. Things like a fizzy bubble drink of soda is not. <laughs> uh, I did enjoy this little, uh, little let's play, guys. I hope to see you next time. Stay safe out there. And please, again, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you. Stay safe. And... See you next video.